Watermelon Sugar. It is 8.04 on KISS FM. So the news came out yesterday. It's the end of an era. Uh, it really you know, is. Keeping up with the Kardashians is coming to an end. And they said in the statement to our amazing fans, with heavy hearts, we've made this difficult decision to say goodbye to keeping up with the Kardashians. 14 years and 20 seasons. And I will say, it has changed this this franchise, this family, has mm-hmm. changed this business and many others forever. It is it is yeah. so interesting in terms of the history of media and television and entertainment. And at the helm and from the beginning and a dear, dear friend and partner, the mother and the brains and the savviest business person I probably associate myself with, Chris Jenner, is on the line here this morning. Chris, has it sunk in? Oh, um. <laughs> You're going to make me cry all over again. I, it, ha- it really hasn't. I mean, um, I, it just, it, you're, you're seriously going to bring me to tears over that. But I just, uh, I just, it was funny because when we talked yesterday, I, I kind of had my wits about me and I thought I was really strong and, you know, this is the right decision. And then today I wake up and I was thinking about the first time you and I, ever did an interview on the air and I was so excited and so nervous and it was our first season and you said will you come on the air and do an interview live and I was like you want me to be on your show <laughs> I was beyond excited I was so I was like what am I going to say is it going to sound silly and it was just it took me back to that place and I got very very emotional this morning I woke up and I was in the gym at five o'clock with Chloe and Kim yeah. And we just kind of sat there and looked at each other and said, "Wow, what a ride!" It was uh, it was quite the morning, but it's so great to talk to you, Ryan. And I uh, I just have I'm coming from a place of such gratitude. Mm-hmm. You know, just the whole thing is just unbelievable, and we're so grateful for every single moment that we've had and are now, by the way, left with the best home movies we'll ever be able <laughs> to world. do. But think about, thinking back, this was 14 and, and, and change years ago, and yeah. you, you, know, you, you had this notion that your family would be compelling on television. And yeah. certainly uh, you, you knew that, and I remember looking at that seven-minute tape, the seven-minute <laughs> tape from the barbecue at your place. <laughs> and I, 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 I was so entertained. And, you know, you, you see the, the connection. Thank God. You see the, you, you saw the, the love. You saw the candor. You know, you saw mm-hmm. things that you weren't really seeing anywhere else, but people were doing within their own families. And yet we, I know, at least for me, I thought it would be irreverent and fun and different and, and show new things, but I had no idea the vulnerability that you would showcase, the things that people would see in your families, the relationships, the kids, the separations. I mean, so many different things happen. But you, Chris, tell Tanya and Sisney the the pact you made at the beginning of this. Yeah, yeah. Well, we sat down as a family and um, we said, listen, if we, I said to the kids, if we're going to do this, we just have to show everything. There's no, I mean, we didn't have scripts. We didn't had never been on TV. I can't remember, you know, some my best friend's birthday, let alone what to say. <laughs> it hasn't, you know, some <laughs> something else. So I think just to be ourselves was key. And there's so many of us. And, uh, you know, that, that we had to just pull together and say, you know, all for one and one for all. And we, we had the best time doing it. But that was really the, the first talk we ever had was just let's let's show it all. And, um, and sometimes that was really difficult because Mm -hmm. we always Mm -hmm. end up in a place of, of love and we're so passionate about each other. I mean, to this day, if we're not filming our show and we go on vacation, we're all together Mm -hmm. (laughs) and people can't believe it. They're like, Oh my goodness, you guys are so funny. And we're just (laughs) obsessed with one another, which is, you know, amazing. But, um, we're, we're, we're pretty, you know, thick as thieves over here. Well, Chris Jenner is with us now. What made this the right time to say goodbye? Wow. Well, that's a really good question. I think the number 20 
you know, well, it used to sound good until 2020, <laughs> but the number 20, um, it just seemed like the right time. I think for us to take a minute and breathe and everybody slow down a bit, not slow down professionally, but just, you know, figure out what our next steps are and mm-hmm. all of that. But we've had such an amazing run and so, like I said, so grateful for every single moment and for everyone we work with, starting with you, Ryan. But the network, E, mm-hmm. Buna Murray, our production company, who has been with us like an extended family since day one, season one, frame one, you know. And especially, and, how about Fernaz? Um, we should give Fernaz some, some love oh on the air. My here. Fernaz, gosh, who was with Fernaz. you and the girls yeah, and the whole family. Day one. Yeah. She's Since amazing. day one, and she helped us figure it out. She held, uh, she holds my hand every single day. She's like the if architect of the show. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and she figures it out. Like if there's, if we're in Greece and we're filming something, and there's a problem, for Nas is, you know, the problem solver, and she's just been with us from day one, helping us, um, you know, keep this going. And the amazing, uh, what the editors of Fiona Murray have done with the footage that we have given them, you know, just living our lives. And there's so many of us, which I think is part of the reason it was compelling was that you, you know, there's always something for somebody to relate to. And at the end of the day, you know, all we want is the best for one another. So that's what always was part of that magic. That's what, what we, what everyone watching always saw, you know, there would be disagreements, there'd be arguments, there'd be tears, there'd be laughter, there'd be levity, but there was always love. Yep. Always, always, always love. And when I look back at, you know, the, the, some of the things that we've done as a family and for the camera, you know, on air, always filming everything. After a while, you know, people would ask me, what's it like to have your whole life played out on camera? And after a while, you truly don't, you know, notice um, that it's an intrusion. Mm-hmm. It becomes part of your lifestyle. And, and that is something that I'm always going to be grateful for the fans. And for the most part, you know, 99% of everybody was so um, kind and, 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 and loving and, and it made it fun to do because everybody was so receptive. Who, which of the girls has been most emotional, do you think, with this announcement coming out, Chris? Uh, Well, geez, we, um, we had to tell the crew yesterday, so we were all crying, but I think I think Chloe, I think Chloe is probably the one who's taking it the hardest and really hasn't stopped crying since we announced. She's been so sweet and just emotional about it. But, you know, there's some, there's so much more life yet to live and, and we're going to have the best, uh, the best time doing what we do. But um, yeah, it's been a hard decision. I'm not going to lie. It's been very emotional. Chris Jenner with us. The end of an era, but you can see that uh, final season next year. And Chris, on a personal note, it has been so wonderful to have you in my life. We've talked personally over the year. I'm going to cry saying this, by the way. Aww. But we've gotten close uh, over the years, not just working together, yes. but being friends. And I think the world of you, and what I really admire and respect, is the the love that you show that family. And I think for me to someday have Aww. that would be a wonderful thing. So I love you to death, and I appreciate our partnership and our friendship and take care of yourself. And I hope to that see you somewhere soon. I know mm-hmm. I have to stop. Doing Ryan, it otherwise I'll cry. I just, I just want to say that I couldn't have asked for a better partner and a better friend. And I feel like you're my brother at this point. And we're, um, you might not be in the will though. So don't get mad about that. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Just <laughs> she, just made just it, ma- she just put that and on I the just, record. I love you. I love you. Love you. Love you. And I appreciate every single thing that you've done to, um, to, uh, to, you know, be there for us along the way. It's been amazing. Thank you, Chris. Say hello to the family. Big hugs to everybody and take care. Okay. We'll thank talk soon. Thank you. Text you later. Thank you all for right. all the years later. of entertainment. Yeah. Oh, thank you for saying that. Love you guys so much. All right. Love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Oh, I, you know when you start talking and you can feel yourself and you have to just sort of yeah, stop? Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I, no, here it comes. I do want to play this for everybody just to punctuate what a fan, Sissini, is of keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> These are her wedding vows. This is Michael live from the wedding. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Take you, Sissini, to be my wife. I promise to be true, honest, faithful, to always have your back. To let you watch your TV shows and to keep up with the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> right into Ray LaMontagne. Uh, well, that was for our wedding video, so it has the music in the background. <laughs> but oh my God, that gave me chills. Oh. No, I